All right, now that we have our project set up, let's think about what our GUI would look like. If you, I'm thinking right now, I'm imagining a GUI, and if you guys can see what's on my mind, what I'm imagining, you'd probably see something like this. Something like this, maybe, right? Yeah, that looks good. So what we're going to do is we're going to create something like this. We're going to create this from scratch. And what you're seeing right now, and but, but first let me talk to you about what you what you're seeing, what the components are to what uh, to what this is. So this is what you call this whole thing right here is what you call a a J frame. Inside this J frame is a J tabbed pane. These are the tabs. Inside this tab pane is a panel, a J panel. Inside this J panel are a bunch of J labels, J label, J label, J label, J label. A bunch of text fields, J text, J text fields, J text field. And J buttons. And what you call this here is a J text area. And this is called a scroll pane. So that we can scroll. Now that we kind of get an idea, we have an idea of what our GUI should look like, let's create our GUI class. And first, and we're going to have two GUI classes, we're going to have two view classes actually three but we're gonna make two classes that extend the panel because remember we have this panel right here and then on our next tab we have another panel first let's start off with the add book panel go ahead on your package explorer and click right click on your view package and click new class we're going to create add book panel finish let me just close this up top here all right this panel is going to extend j panel so extends j panel meaning it's going to inherit everything from jpanel except the private uh... anyways i'm not going to talk about that yeah it, it just extends jpanel imports java java x dot swing jpanel and this is also going to be serializable i mean it's going to have a serial version id and the reason why this has a serial version id is because the jpanel is also ser also implement serializable even though and we need this even though we don't even though we're not even though we're uh, we're not saying implements serializable <clears throat> as you can see we we don't need to uh, say this because we're extending we're subclassing the jpanel class and the jpanel all already implements serializable so <clears throat> we don't need that all right <clears throat> now uh, you can create the GUI in using many different methods there are many different ways and many different combinations uh, in uh, making a GUI but I'll and I'm not going to talk about any of them. I'm just, I'm just going to talk about the method that I'm going to be using because there's really, really many different layouts that you can use. We're going to be using the flow layout because it's simple and we're going to be combining that with boxes. So let's create our box, our boxes. Private box. We're going to create our main box. 
we're also going to create a bunch of other boxes and we're going to call those boxes horizontal horizontal boxes because this box is a vertical box and I'll show you what I mean by vertical and horizontal box just bear with me and import this so we've got a main box we're going to create eight horizontal boxes we're going to call them H box 1 H box 2 and because I'm lazy I'm just going to copy and paste this six more times copy paste one, two, three, four, five, six, and just change this to H box number three, H box number four, five, six, seven, and eight, and semicolon, Control Shift F. Oh, that didn't do much, anyways. And we're going to be putting all our widgets, all our buttons, our J labels, our J text area inside these boxes. And I'm going to show you how. Now let's create our widgets. So we're going to create a bunch of J labels. And I usually, uh, when I'm naming my J labels, I usually start my names with. JL whenever for a J label so JL for J label and then the name of the uh, of the label which is ISBN we're gonna need an ISBN uh, JL J label title JL author and this corresponds to our book attributes and I'll show you why and I'll show you why it just makes it just makes our programming a, a, a whole lot easier and it's more understandable JL price our book has a price our book has a um, oh, has a bunch of files so JL file and then just the text field let me actually show you guys what these are So this J label, this J L I S B N is this J label right here. This this is a J label corresponding to J L title. This is a J label corresponding to J L author. And this we're gonna we're gonna have to create a J label for the log dog too. So let's do that right now. J L log dog. <clears throat> now let's create the J text fields after importing the J label import there we go private J text field and we're gonna create a J text field pretty much for all of this except the JL the JL log dog so it'll be better if you just copy all the way up to file copy and paste that here and instead of JL for J label, we're going to change the L to a T for J text field. So JT, JT, and import the J text field. And I know it's kind of confusing right now, but it's all going to make sense later. But for now, bear with me and just, and just, uh, and just uh, type whatever I'm typing. We're also going to need a, uh, a bunch of buttons. Private J button, and I'm going to call this button browse. Button add file. Button add book. Button save button save and quit import the J button 